no idea what to do for the video for tonight um, we thought we were going to get moved in to back into the house this weekend but with the weather and all like it was we weren't able to get the floor put down so you might even can hear the echo in the living room because I'm actually in the living room right now because everything is out of my craft studio because they've stripped the carpet up they've got new paint on the walls we're just waiting to put the floor down yeah so there we are guys but um, I feel bad because I've not done a lot of videos for you guys lately, so um, I did get my e-club kit in, and I figured what we can do is we can go through the e-club kit, and if I can get my mind, you know, my thoughts in motion, we may try to do something with the e-club kit tonight. Um, the e-club kit is something that you can purchase from scrapbookingwithme.com. Um, I will leave a link below. It is a monthly subscription club and they have the most amazing monthly kits and they always come in one of these waterproof bags. And so let's just take a look at this month's kit. I'm always excited when I get my kit because it, they have the most amazing stuff in it. So we've got that bag. I always keep the bag because I love it. All right, so first thing I can see we have some little jewels and it says tacky back and it's several different sizes so that will be wonderful and then it looks like we've got several tags one two three four of those let's see four of these so there may be more of these somewhere in here that i can't see yep i see some more Okay, so it looks like we got a total of 12 different tags. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Then we've got some tickets. Oh, these are so pretty. Wow, and those are super thick. Those are beautiful. Or is that two sets? No, I guess they're just that thick. Wow, those are really pretty. And then this says ephemera. It says the... Okay, so I guess that's what's all in the ephemera pack. Two of each. Those are really cute. Look at these. Oh, wait. I want to see this one. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That is too cute. Love that. And then these. Oh, okay. These I think you could probably stick on your journal. And you could put a pen down in it. So got two of those, got some lace. It looks like probably a yard of this really pretty lace. Two of these clips, which will come in very handy if you're trying to make a journal. You have a ring here. So you could make like a little tag book. We might do that. I just don't know where any of my punches are or anything right now. And then this is one of the zig, um, glue pens. This is a really good glue. Like I said, I, I had some stuff where I kind of knew where it was, but then when they went to do my craft studio and put the, um, put the paint and all down, oh, that's really nice. Things got moved out here into the living room and I have no idea where anything's at. This is some more of those tickets. I really think there's more than... Those just seem so thick. 
All right, Melina, let me know what I'm doing. Are these stickers maybe? Because these feel so thick. I'm thinking, I don't know guys. I don't want to tear them up. All right, let's take a look at this. This is the little paper pad that came in this month's. And so it is a Prima co pad collection. Let me put this where it won't get sticky everywhere. Okay, so it says 26 sheets. Oh my goodness, look at those. Oh, look at the back. And one thing I love about this Prima pad like this is they give you like four of the same design. So that makes it so much easier on me because then I don't feel bad about using. Oh, look at that one. These are pretty, 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 pretty. Wow. Oh, I love this one. I love that one. Wow, look how beautiful. And then you got some cut apart. Okay. And then they also gave us another ring. Um, one of these envelopes. So I think I know what I'm going to do. And then we have two sheets of the, um, what is this? The, I never can say it right. I can, bat, basil, basil, pay, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. So yes, let's go ahead and make something with this. Um, I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to stick this down. And I want to get it on the fold so that it's even. Now we have a little bit of an issue because I don't know where my scoreboard is. So what we're going to have to do, okay, and y'all are going to laugh. Y'all just don't laugh too hard. This is what I'm having to use to measure with, guys. And if you look at that store name, that will let you know how old this yardstick is. But this is all that I could find. Like, I could not find anything else. And I'm like, oh, well, it works. So we're good. Okay. So I am going to attempt to use this yardstick to find out where my center is on this little doohickey here. Okay, so it looks like it's not quite nine, so let's just maybe do it like that. Now I need something to mark with. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh wait, I got something right here. And we can use this because it's not gonna make a difference. So we're gonna say this is the middle and I want to go just to the side of that. So I'm going to go right there and right there. Because that's about all the, that I need for a spine. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to fold right there. Make sure I'm getting it on the right side. I'm going to fold it this way because I can always fold it back. And just make sure I'm folding it straight-ish. As straight as I can fold it anyway. Okay. And then I want to take and I want to fold on this line here. I want to do the same thing. Okay. So what I've basically done is I just created a little spine area. Yes. Okay. So that works. And I'm not even going to, I'm just going to cover it like this. I was going to have it go in the other way, but it's not going to make a difference. And I don't think I can get it done. So there's that. All right. Now, now what we need to figure out is do we want to have a pocket here? Our pocket here or do we want to cut like a slit in it and have it like an inside pocket hmm. 
let's worry about covering it and then we can figure out what we want to do. So I don't know what I want to cover this with. I'm almost thinking, I love that. We're gonna go with that one. All right, so now let's try and measure. So it is six inches by not quite four and a half. Okay, so I do have my paper trimmer and that was because I had it in a bag. So guys, this video, God only knows how this is going to be because I'm telling you. All right, so I'm going to do this a little, let me see. So it's six inches, so we just need to cut that right there. You know what I'm gonna do? Okay. This is what happens when my mind gets to going. Okay, yep, that's what I'm going to do. I am actually going to cover this. So let's go ahead and do that. Because I am going to use this as like a mat. Um, so that I don't have to go all the way out to the edge. And it'll be, it'll be like I'm matting it. get this down halfway centered. Do I have anything? Get rid of? Look at here. Now that was just wonderful. Thank you, Lord. I don't know if it was the Lord looking out for me or looking out for y'all that let me have that in my desk drawer, but either way, I'm good with it. Okay. So now let's trim this a little bit. I hope all of you guys are doing good and I promise once I get moved back in and I mean it's just been it's been so much going on so I've not had a lot of time to do much of anything and um, then just not knowing where everything's at because some stuff is here some stuff is at the other house I don't know where anything's at, and I'm just, guys, I'm like, I don't know, feeling very overwhelmed. Um, if any of you guys are friends of mine on Facebook, you would have seen the other day where I just done a little post. I was like, do you ever feel like you just want to run away? And I mean, that's just how I've felt sometimes lately because, it, and it's nothing wrong, it's just everything. I'm so happy, but it's just so overwhelming, you know, um, because in doing the remodel too, we also found out we have to put a new roof on the house. So that is beyond stressful because my husband and I, we really, our house is paid for and we really don't want to take out a mortgage or a HELOC or anything on a house that we don't owe a payment on. But at the same time, we know that, you know, the roof has to be repaired. And so it's just, I don't know, it's just very stressful. And um, so I'm just kind of, and I'm one of those, I don't know how you guys are, but I'm one of those when I get stressed, I just like avoid everything. I just avoid people. I avoid situations I avoid absolutely everything that I possibly can when I get stressed and I know that I've done that lately but I'm just I don't know and you know once we get moved back in the house you know everything will fall into place and that's the thing I know that 
and I don't know why I'm stressing because I know that everything will be, that it'll work out just, just fine. The Lord has never failed me yet. He's not going to start now. But there's, you know, that part of me that just can't help but stress. So, and I don't normally stress over anything. My husband is the stressor. He stresses enough for both of us. So, normally I let just let him do all of the stressing. And I don't stress over anything, but... I've found the last couple of days I'm the one stressing. All right, so this is a pencil that I don't have the lead out on. And so I'm just trying to score right along where I had folded to hopefully be able to fold that paper. Because guys, like I said, I don't even have my... my um, scoreboard in here oh, I think that turned out okay yes all right so let's cover look guys how pretty that's going to look Okay, so I'm actually going to pause for now. We'll finish this in a part two. We'll finish this tomorrow. Um, I am going to find my corner rounder and that kind of stuff. I'm going to get all of that stuff together, and then we will come back, and we will finish this up tomorrow. So, guys, thank you all so much for sticking with me. If you stuck to, with me to the end of this video, as crazy as it is, leave me a heart in the comments. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to continue this on to this video because I didn't find a corner rounder, but I found my paper thing here, and so we can use that. So let's go ahead and let's cover the inside, I guess, and then I can decide how I want to do that. So um, I think I want... Hmm, I'm not sure what I want. Let's see. Okay. Let's grab my paper pad. What did I do with it? And so for the inside, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. So the outside is going to be, oh, that is so pretty. You know what we may do? That would use up all of these though, but that is so pretty. Let's do this for the inside. So we know that's six. So we need to cut this just a little bit. I want to cut a little. We know it's six. Let's go maybe five and three quarters. And then it's four and a half. So let's go. And we'll cut five right there. I need to put a new blade in. And then we're gonna go four and a quarter. Okay, I'm gonna try. these are some blades I've picked up off of Timu. So let's just try one and see. Hopefully it works. I guess I won't know until I try it. I don't even know how to get the thing off. I don't wind up cutting myself is what I'm gonna do. Oh my goodness, guys. And you know, I just leave all of this. Is that supposed to be in there? It's got a spring on it.
I don't think this one fits my thing. Mm -mm, it's too, too long. Okay. Well, back to the old one. All right. Sorry, saw a squirrel. You guys know how I am. All right, so I want to round these corners, so I'm going to use my, my um, uh, whatever this thing is, my envelope punch board, because this is what I have over here right now. Okay, so I think that's gonna look good. But I think I'm going to take this. No, nope, I want to use this one. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to use that one. That's my spine. So I'm just going to put that down right there like that. And that's about the width of my spine anyway. Okay, so see, there we go. So now let's cover this. So I need another one cut just like that. Um, where was it at? This one here. And what did we cut it at? See guys, I, this is what I'm just like. So we done it five and three quarters by four and a quarter. And guys, I could like edit all of this stuff out, but I want you guys to see that it's not always easy trying to decide and you know, you just never, you just have to get, kind of go with it. Um, and that's what we're doing. That's why I'm not cutting, I'm not editing this stuff out because this is real life right here. I am having to work with, you know, outside of my comfort zone with different tools because I don't have everything here. But you know what? It's okay. At the end of the day, we're still going to hopefully, hopefully we will achieve the same end result. <laughs> I'm not real positive. I don't have a lot of hope right this minute, but you know, we're going to do our best. And if I mess up and it doesn't work out, then I'll just be showed you guys how not to do it. So there we go. So we're just going, and probably all we'll do for today is just get the cover made um, because I will need, I think I want to go and find some coffee dyed paper if I can find it. Um, and just, I want to maybe do like just a small booklet, like a very small journal. So I think we will do this for today and decorate, you know, do the cover. And then um, tomorrow's video, we will start actually making the journal. But at least we've got a good little start on it. Okay, I think that's cute. I need to get the scoreboard and figure out how to get that score down good because that's going to aggravate me. Now, for our cover, I'm thinking I want that blue. I think that would be beautiful. And do I want to have like this on the front and this on the back? Or maybe this on the front. Yes, I think I want this on the front because then I could, and then one of these on the back. That's what I think anyway. 
let's just see. Okay, so let's do the same thing. Let's do um, five and three quarters. And we want four and a quarter, but I think I like this side better, so I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, so that'll be the back. And so we do five and three quarters here. And then I want this part to be on the front, and so that will be four and a quarter. And don't throw those little strips away because I'm sure we will do something with them. So let's round our corners with our envelope punch board. <laughs> hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do in times like this when you don't have everything. You just go with it. And that's what we're doing. And I think I am going to ink these. Let me make sure these are going to fit good. Yep. So I'm just going to ink. You see my blade is like shredding the um, paper right now. i got to find some different blades. But it is what it is, you know. What can I do about it? Nothing. So no reason to stress. I got enough stuff to stress about. I don't need to stress over that. Okay. So this is my front. And I'm just going to glue this down. We're going to just set it right there. So see, the reason I covered it is so that it could have like a mat. I like that. And now let's do this side. And this is just the Fabri-Tac that's in my Sugar Bell bottle. How I still know where this is, God only knows. I'm just thankful that I do. And this would have made a pretty cover, but I want to be able to put, um, like, maybe journal or something like that on the front. So that's why I went with, um, oh, that's going to be cute, guys. Look. Wow. And then we can either slit it here or here and make a... Um, um, a pocket of some sort and then we have all of this beautiful ephemera that come in this pack so let's just see. ooh oh wait a minute look at that I'm just looking through here to see what all there is oh, there's so much to choose from Uh, I don't want to do that because that'll have to be cut off some. Oh, wait. Now is when it would be good if I had some foam puppy tape or something. I have that setting up. Oh, that would be so pretty. But, alas, I don't know where he needs out right this minute. So we're just going to keep right on rolling. See, now that is cute. Okay, so let's, let's ink these up so that they'll kind of pop against that. Get this little joker here inked up some. And I forgot about these. Let me just look and make sure there's... I'm wondering. I really think these have to be stickers or something almost. 
They are. They are stickers, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just tearing them all to pieces. Maybe I just need to stop. What do you guys think? Like that? See, this is why I need lives. Because I can't never figure it out. I don't know, guys. Help. Or would it, that look better? Let's ink this up too, because I don't know. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I like that. Okay. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and glue it down so I don't keep changing my mind. Because until I glue it down, I'll just continually change my mind. So we just need to make a decision and be done with it. Okay. So there's that. And then I could, you know what I'm going to do? I could use um, one of these for a little tuck. So let's round this corner here and this corner here. And then let's ink it. Let's see, we can do it like that. And now we've made a little tuck to right there. That's cute. Okay. And now what do we want to do on this back side here? Do we want to do a tuck there too? Or do we want to do something different? You know what I want to do? Let's see if it'll work. Hmm. I was thinking that I could do like a, um, a belly band right there, but we could do it with um, this. Tell you what, let's do that. Let's round these corners here. Okay. And you know we could do some fold outs and flips and all, but we're going to wait. All right, let's go ahead and glue this so we have a belly band right here now. And we can tuck stuff in there. I'm liking it so far. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm liking it. So I am going to go ahead and stop for tonight um, so that I can go and find my um, uh, coffee dyed paper. But you can see, this is what it will look like. So you've got your little tuck spot here that we can tuck a couple things into. And then we can tuck stuff right into here. I don't really want to tuck anything in there yet because that glue is still wet, but that's the thought process. So we'll see how that works. And guys, thank you so much for sticking with me again. If you've stuck with me, you know, to the end of the video, leave me a heart, leave me a um, smiley face too, just so that I'll know that you 
continued on with me. Um, and we will come back hopefully tomorrow. I will be able to um, work. It all depends on my flooring guys. Um, you know, if they're in here laying floor, obviously I cannot be in here recording. Um, I don't know how many of you knew, but I did go on the um, regular telework schedule at work. So now I am, I telework three weeks and then I go into the office one week. And um, I wasn't going to do that because I have such an amazing office and you have to give up your office whenever you go on the telework rotation. So when I go back for that one week each month, um, I'll be in a cubicle and I really was not going to do that. But um, with getting Diva and all, I just, I really wanted to be with her. And so um, that's why I went ahead and went on the telework rotation. But I do have to go into the office for a little bit tomorrow because we have a, um, a meeting. And so anytime we have a meeting, you know, we're required to go in, which is not a big deal. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for sticking around and watching and supporting me and my channel and my Etsy store. Um, you guys, I, I cannot thank you enough for everything that you've done for me. Um, but thank you all so much again, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.